What up, what up, what up, Night Nation? It's your boy, Stevie Knight. But they get on one of these things, you feel me? We gotta watch Night Watch, man. Um, Catching up with the drama. Catching up with the drama. Um, I can't remember. Did I do a video? Did I not, did I not do a video? Like, it don't even matter, bro. Um, Ronnie Ratke, falling in reverse, files defamation lawsuit against Anthony Fantano. Um, just did a reaction to uh, the freegal. <laughs> them, them damn falling in reverse videos is next level, bro. Um, which brings me to this behind the scenes. Is see what's going on uh, with all this, bro. Did I, I? I can't remember, dog. Before we tap in, though, man, merch shop stevenight.com. You feel me? Link description box below, man. Um, Night Watch, love y'all, man. Appreciate y'all holding me down. Night Nation, appreciate y'all holding me down. Like the video, subscribe to the channel. Let's see what the fuss is all about. Let's get it. Falling in reverse frontman Ronnie Radke this week filed a defamation suit in LA County Superior Court against music critic Anthony Fantano, stemming from an August 2023 video that he published on his channel, in which, according to the filing by Radke's attorney, they contend extends outside the bounds of permissible commentary and into actionable innuendo or outright untruths. Rule Here's what we know. In documents obtained by Rockfeed, filed August 20th in LA County Superior Court, falling in reverse frontman Ronnie Radke has filed a lawsuit against music critic Anthony Fantano. The lawsuit centers on a video uploaded to Fantano's channel called This Guy Sucks on August 20th, 2023. Then, back in June, Ronnie posted that he was Hold shown. On, let me see. I want to watch that video. Is it still up? Did, have you taken it down? Oh, shit, it's still up there. Damn, he on his ass, boy. This guy sucks. This song sucks. This guy wants me to chill. Call him trash. God damn, boy. Um, hold on. Let me see what you're talking about. Hi, everyone. Anthony Fantano here, the Internet's busiest music nerd. I hope you're doing well. Today, we're talking about a very special man on the Internet, quite possibly the biggest living piece of trash in the world of rock music right now. Uh, that's Mr. Ronald Radke of the band Falling in Reverse and uh, probably from other stuff too who cares it's not like after this video i want you guys to go listen to his shitty music anyway well it's always a bad day when the internet somehow reminds me that this guy exists and the most recent instance of that uh came by way of another youtube creator in the music review and commentary community that would be brad taste in music who every once in a while makes it a bit to uh, just uh, suffer live to some really bad music, some really bad albums. Some of his most popular content in that vein is him uh, reacting to the music of Falling in Reverse and uh, Ronnie Radke. And uh, if you know anything I about ain't Ronnie Radke- I told you, bro. Like, I mean, outside of like their older shit that I'm, I can't fuck with, like they was doing like, I can't even call it bad. It's just not my taste in music, bro. Um, whatever niche or rock you would, classify their beginnings as but as far as all this latest shit you know what i mean with the crazy visuals he got going on and the rap shit he doing bro like i ain't heard shit that i i dislike and a little subjective at the end of the day bro but the amount of energy and money they put into these fucking videos bro and these city songs oh like um I, definitely some animosity there, bro. Anyway, look and see. He he doesn't really like um, criticism or uh, pushback or anybody saying not so nice things about him in any way whatsoever. At Spirit Box calls their fans boxies while Ronnie Rack he just calls them communists. What else? This is Twitter. We can agree that if you ran into me in person after today, that I'd scare the fucking AIDS out of you and you'd be apologizing 100%. Well, that's because you're 35 and still in your twink emo phase, dude. It's been hours and I'm only known for being gay is trending now, making fun of you. Just take your L. This is too embarrassing to watch. Following in reverse drops laptops on Sebastian Bot lookalike in the video for Watch the World Burn. Remember the great laptop beef of 2022 was about to have a sequel. All right, bro. How many times and by how many people can one be falsely accused of abuse before he the likelihood of it being true? 
at all ever usually causes him to go a little haywire uh, on social media, sending droves of fans to harass detractors on TikTok, starting beef with even me on Twitter at one point, and now most recently with Brad Taste and Music, uh, hitting him up in DMs to relish in the fact that I, I guess uh, Ronnie had some of Brad's videos taken down, which man, he's really loving. He's really loving that. So sad, so fragile, so sensitive. What a coward. And anyone defending this man or acting like he's cool, probably a coward too. Now, some of you guys might be saying, hey, wait, listen, Anthony, that, that's like Ronald's uh, you know, content there. That's his intellectual property. He should be able to say whether or not it turns up in uh, Brad's YouTube video, so on and so forth. Yeah, but here's the thing. Brad's content does technically fall under fair use. And on top of it, uh, Ronald has been on camera previously uh, saying it's A-OK -okay, uh, for streamers to uh, stream his music live onto the internet. And I have 100% say in where my music goes and you're allowed to listen to my music while you're streaming without fear of getting in trouble. At this point, it doesn't matter to me. It's ridiculous. You might as well listen to it. Which I suppose uh, he is well within his right to change his mind on. However, I think you and I both know that Ronald isn't like, you know, taking down the content of every streamer out there who might be playing his music live. Uh, no, it's, it's probably just the ones who react to it negatively or talk about how shitty it is. Because again, Ronald doesn't really like having things said about him uh, that have been out and about in the media. And while this recent occurrence also makes Ronald uh, look like a piece of shit, it's not the crappiest thing he's ever done. Somehow, I thought it would be fun to take a second here to do a bit of a greatest hits uh, for Ronald Radke and talk about why exactly uh, he sucks beyond the music just being so painfully mid and annoying. You know, Ronald is one of those controversial figures in uh, rock music who likes to, uh, you know, tout himself as like a free speech kind of guy. He's shooting from the hip. He's telling it like it is. He may have said some things in the past that don't play all that well today, but he He's grown. He's changed. You can't hate people over old tweets. He's not with all that cancel culture crap. However, However over the years that he's been in the music industry, uh, Ronald has shown no growth, change, or maturity. Any shittiness or narcissism he may have been exhibiting in the past uh, when he might have said something terrible 10 years ago is surely still being exhibited now. You don't even need to go into the old things Ronald Radke has said and done. The former frontman of Escape the Fate, Rocky spent two and a half years in prison while living in Las Vegas. He was present during an altercation in May 2006 that ultimately led to the shooting in, oof, that ultimately led to the shooting death of 18-year-old Michael Cook. While Racky didn't fire a gun, he was indicted on battery charges, sentenced to five years probation, and sent to, and sent to jail in wait for missing an appointment with his parole officer of probation violation. Uh, because he's doing and saying uh, just as terrible things today, whether he's using his Twitter page to harass and shut down people, trying to talk about their uh, experiences uh, having been sexually assaulted, and he doesn't do talk about their uh, experiences should we hold him accountable for throwing me against a van and choking me eight years ago, or is that too long ago to please advise? Randy Racky, holding people accountable for something they did 20 years ago was insane. Imagine thinking this is how you should respond when being accused of physical assault. Guilty conscience speaks, speaks loud. Um, this will cost you, you disgusting pig. You think you can say shit that ain't true? I will ruin your fucking life. Just wait, bitch. You are eight foot. Uh, you are eight foot seven. Looking in that pic, saying I threw your ass against a van. You lying ass fucking bitch. I do not play with that false shit. I'll take every last cent from you. You cannot stand that I'm doing good. Why do you need this kind of attention? Uh, this is that Bree monster. You are not allowed to say I physically assaulted you because you touch yourself to me. Fantasy or not, that is a lie. I hope me thinking you're a gross sloppy pig doesn't ruin it for you though experiences uh, having been sexually assaulted and he doesn't do the same thing that maybe some other artists do uh, uh, when they're hit with similar allegations they might make a statement they might 
apologize. They might disappear into the shadows, never to be heard from again because they're cowardly pieces of shit. But no, not Ronald. Ronald doubles down and sues. On top of this, he's had domestic violence charges too against him, which were ultimately dismissed, true. But the fact that all of this uh, behavior is piling up here is quite sussy wussy which is a legal term or uh, even hopping on twitter to be uh transphobic or poke fun at the idea of black people receiving reparations what's funny about this is that he, he's throwing this kind of rhetoric out there and this is the sort of thing where it any rock star who actually makes good music uh the right wing and ben shapiro and matt walsh whoever it is would be jumping on top of it desperate to like interview him and like put a mic in his face and like it'd be like yeah this is our guy look at our guy over here our guy but ronald radke is such a sad chaotic piece of shit uh, that even those grifters and show no interest in him even when he's like literally parroting their talking points back at them among the right wing transphobia is like the new flavor of the month meanwhile ronald's over here in the corner like guys i can be transphobic too and nobody uh, they just giving them the smoke i get it i mean i mean based on what a fantano sandbox but i guess i can get some damn defamation suits thrown in my ass too bro you know what i mean yeah uh, swag dog it's freedom of speech bro you know what I mean, they come with the territory, man. Like, hey, people can say whatever the fuck they want to say about whoever the fuck they want to say it, bro. It is what it is, man. I'm curious to see how this um defamation suit is going to go, but um just based based upon the smoke Fantano is giving Ronnie Radke at this point, and it's a lot of fucking smoke, uh, and I'm only getting a little piece of it, bro. I'm sure he said a lot more than this. I mean, Dad, there's not much here that I'm like, oh my god, what the fuck? He just he don't he don't fuck with buddy <laughs> and he's letting the world know he don't fuck with buddy why he don't fuck with buddy yeah that's whack uh, I, I, that's whack if you if you basing your lawsuit just on that bro that's 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 some that's some sussy wussy shit right there but i know i only got one piece of the puzzle man i'm sure it's a lot more let's see what else is involved in this shit on august 20th 2023 then back in june ronnie posted that he was shown a clip of fantano's 2023 video which prompted him to retain legal counsel. This man just said that I uh, sexually assumed someone pretty much. He's implying that I did it. He's implying I did it because he's saying that I doubled down on literally getting accused of something that never happened. The suit alleges that Fantano's video went beyond simply expressing opinions about Radke or calling him names and landed outside the bounds of permissible commentary, extending well into the realm of actionable innuendo unfounded rumor mongering and outright untruths. In the filing, Radke's lawyer says his client repeatedly asked Fantano to take the video down, but after refusing to do so, they feel they have no other choice but to file the suit. The filing first cites a tweet from singer Andy Sizek that's displayed on screen in the video. It says the quote was an excerpt from a tweet that Mr. Sizek posted on or around March 10th, 2023. He called Mr. Radke the Bill Cosby of alt music. Adding later, Mr. Sizek quickly took down his defamatory tweet. The suit added, Fantano nevertheless republished the same libel months after Mr. Sizek deleted it, displaying the quote on screen. The filing then focuses on this portion of the video in question. Whether he's using his Twitter page to harass and shut down people, trying to talk about their uh, experiences uh, having been sexually assaulted. It reads, Fantano himself directly accuses plaintiff of using his Twitter page to harass and shut down people trying to talk about their experiences having been sexually assaulted by Radke. Adding, as he speaks these words into the camera, Fantano simultaneously displayed on the screen entirely falsified accusations about Mr. Radke made last year by an Australian woman named Bree Jamieson. <laughs> I guess Andrew Tate need to come up here and sue the fuck out of everybody, right? <laughs> I guess P. Diddy need to come up here and sue the fuck out of everybody, right? Ain't shit been proven now. Ain't shit been proven now. That's a bunch of false, as you, false accusations, bro. I guess I'm going to be hearing for some lawyers here pretty soon, dogs. I've been defaming the fuck out of hella people. <laughs> um, I mean, if it's within the realms, if this is within the realms of, like, prosecution then you know by all means do what you do bro but 
Um, it definitely seems like Ronnie Rack, he got some, some thin ass skin, bro. You feel me? Well, I mean, putting myself in his shoes, dog, and somebody out here is implying that I did something like that that I didn't do, and I can prove that I didn't do it, dog. Because, you know, once that narrative is out there, bro, whew, whew, it really it don't matter what the fuck you do. You can sue Buddy's draws off and win, dog. There's still going to be some motherfuckers out here that believe what what has been claimed that you did. You feel me? So, I mean, on that, on that stance of it, like on that part of it, bro, somebody out here telling me that I damn put my hands on somebody or I assaulted a woman and I ain't fucking do it. I, I could, I could, I can understand the, 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 the desire to, you know, sue the fuck off somebody, bro. You know, I'm, 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 I'm with that shit too. I will goddamn Amber Heard your ass. You feel me? I, yeah, 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 yeah. The woman accused Radke of throwing her against a van and choking her. The suit adds, contrary to Fantano's mischaracterization, Miss Jamieson did not actually claim to have been sexually assaulted by Radke. She falsely charged that he physically assaulted her, which he categorically did not do. It says there were several other passengers in the van she drove for the 2015 tour, and no one observed anything that she contended occurred. Continuing, Miss Jamieson voluntarily deleted the above reference tweet, as well as others about Radke. Speaking through legal counsel, Ms. Jamieson indicated that she does not currently intend to make any further public comments about Radke. The suit continues. Immediately following his republication of Ms. Jamieson's libel in the video, Fantano then displays on screen false and defamatory quotes by a woman named Caitlin Casey Boswell, as well as Levi Rounds. Along with the headline from a June 10th, 2015 article on the Metal Sucks website, Above the three images, Fantano writes, these are separate allegations. They were not. The attorney notes, the police did not arrest Radke. The prosecutor did not charge Radke. Radke was not required to post bail. No restrictions were placed on Radke's movements. Radke later sued the accuser, with the judge entering a judgment in Radke's favor in July of 2016. But the suit contends that Fantano made no mention of the fact that Radke was vindicated in a courtroom. The suit alleges that Fantano acted with malice and knew at the time he made the defamatory statements that they were false or acted with reckless disregard for the truth or falsity of his statements. A case management conference has been scheduled for December 18th in Los Angeles. That's your latest up. All right, well, I, I stand corrected, bro. He, he, I mean, he is sensitive. He got thin scanned out when, when Fantano was talking about how, you know, peeps out here made may have not liked his shit and he felt some type of way about it and voiced that right like you know you can't play that game bro like it's it's all fair in this content world bro you're gonna put some shit out you gotta be prepared for motherfuckers to, to hate on your ass and the more they hating shit the more you should be sitting there pretty dog because they ain't gonna hate it you ain't popping but um as far as the libel he's spitting fantano spitting and you know perpetuating this seemingly bullshit narrative about him putting hands on women dog i'm with ronnie dog you feel me like if you out here if that's the case if this is actually what's taking place and he's got it written that way uh in the complaint you know what i'm saying so um i ain't about to dive in and vet it to see how accurate everything is bro. but based on what they put in that goddamn complaint and the judge sided with rag and all this shit can be bullshit and fantano is continuing to perpetuate or uh to to spread these lies i will sue the fuck out of somebody too bro that's bullshit dog you're not about to be putting this label on me of, of, of some shit like that nah i can't do that bro because that's gonna affect my business and then that's gonna affect my reputation that's gonna stigmatize me right and I gotta, I gotta fight fire with fire, bro. You know what I'm saying? I gotta, I gotta fight fire and fight. This ain't, this ain't no take. This ain't, this, like, this isn't no take on me. This ain't your opinion about me. This ain't you just hating on me. This is you saying that I did something that I didn't do, which has devastating effects on someone in my position. All right. So yeah, I get it. I get it, bro. So if Antenna, if you out here with that fuck shit, bro, nah, you, you, you deserve to get sued, bro. So you know, I'm with Ronnie on this one. Um, anyway, thoughts.